Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today we're going to talk about brand new IOD, brand new Christmas release and it's amazing. But also, I'm so excited to share something with you. Today's my very first ever sponsored video and I want you to hang with me because I have a very, very cool product to show you and I think you're going to love it. I think that you're going to want one. You're going to put it on your Christmas list and you're going to say, please buy this for me because it has allowed me to do so many cool things and I cannot wait to show you. So let's get to it. First up is the Heavenly Stamp. You guys, these angels are so large and beautiful. Um, there I was just showing you the mask. Be sure to not throw those away because those can come in handy for so many different things, not just masking. So I just wanted to quickly remind you here, when you open a new stamp, the first thing you need to do is sand it. I like to go all the way across it in one direction, flip it 90 degrees, and then go the second direction. All right, we're bringing out our girly pillowcase from Ikea, the 20 by 20 size, and these things are such good quality for only $6.99. So I am bringing out my brand new toy, you guys. I told you about this in the beginning, and this heat press is just, I don't even know what to say about it other than it is awesome. And so I'm giving my pillow cover a pre-press here to get out, you know, just any like moisture or any, um, you know, anything that, any chemicals or anything that might have been in it from the factory. And I'm also going to iron out those wrinkles. So I'm going to just give it a quick like 10 second pre-press on each side. And then when it comes out and it's still warm, I, I fold it down the middle and just give it that slight little crease because that's going to give me my center mark. That way I know that my design is going to be center and I just let it cool like that and that just gives me the perfect creased line. See right there? So that's perfect. So then I'm just going to smooth that out and then we're going to design up our little pillow cover. So I'm going to use this heavenly stamp with these two cute little angels and I'm just trying to decide the best way that I want to place those and we're going to use some metallic bronze from Fusion and I also have this in a tester size available on the website you guys so that way if you don't want a big one you can get the cute little tester and it'll be just enough to do a couple of projects to see if you like it. So I just spread that out over my stamp with my brayer and hello peep my reflection in the thin mount there. <laughs> So I'm just pr pushing that down into the fabric because remember you guys you want to go pretty juicy on your stamps with fabric because it as you can see I got a little bit of a distressed look here because it was starting to dry on me. So I took my letterpress stamp and did the same thing just laid out Hark the Herald Angel Sing. So I want you to notice here you know I actually have two sets of this stamp because I love it so much and I still had letters that were short because of of course repeating letters. So what I did is just um, use those letters as a space and then moved them to where I needed them to go. Stamped the first part. So I rolled my um, bronze metallic over my stamps here again and cleaned up my edges and then stamped the first set. And then I took those repeating letters off of the thin mount and placed them where they needed to go to finish up. So you can see here I even just placed that H right between um, the T and the E, it wasn't quite dark enough, so I just placed it by hand to darken it some. And then I just did Sing by itself. I wanted to share this quick little tip with you when you're working with so many stamps. I just get a bucket of soapy water, toss them all in there until I'm finished with my project, and wash them all at once. And it keeps me from losing those small letters. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to set your temperature and time control on the heat press. So all you have to do is hit the mode button until your light is blinking at the appropriate setting, whether it be temperature or time setting. And you use the plus and minus to put it where you need it to go. And then when you're all finished, you hit the mode button again and then the little play symbol. And that little play symbol is also the button that you hit when you want your timer to start running. So right here, when I'm pressing to finish, see there we go, when I'm finishing my pillowcase, it beeps to let you know it's finished and then your material is set. So now this is going to be permanent on your pillowcase. I 
I really love this swing away arm on this press. I've had a clamshell press for a lot of years when I used to do a whole lot of t-shirts. I love this swing away arm so much better. All right, I'm choosing my favorite stencils from the Main Street Minis pack. So I chose the church and here my sister chose the mercantile. I'm just sliding a little piece of the thin mount up under my towel here to make sure it doesn't bleed through to other layers. And I'm gonna tape the stencil to keep it in place. And I'm just using the swirling motion and I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint in the new color Everett, which is beautiful, it is such a beautiful green. And I'm using two different towels here. I'm using one of the less expensive uh, flower sack brand from Walmart. And on the next towel, I'm gonna show you, I'm using a higher quality brand from Amazon and I will have those linked down below. But I wanna show you the quality difference in the two towels. So if you choose to make some gifts for your, you know, your friends or family or what have you, you can see the difference in the two types of towels or even if you're making them to sell, I will just want you to be able to see the weave texture difference. I believe the one from Amazon is a better quality and gives you a better, a better finished product. So here I'm gonna do the same thing, just slide that thin mount in there. And I'm putting the cute little church on this one. And I know it's probably hard to tell for sure, but another thing I love about these is they have a, um, what do you call that? A hem, the, the, all four edges are hemmed. Whereas the ones from Walmart, you know, they kind of have a raw edge on two sides. So this one right here, I'll link it below, like I said, and I just wanted to mention it, that it is a fantastic quality for a, more finished, more expensive look in my opinion. So see, look how pretty that is. I love these little Main Street minis. You could also put these on wood blocks too, just for some cute little shelf sitters. All right, we're finishing up with a heat set. So I'm pressing it at 350 degrees for 15 seconds. And I put the parchment paper on there just to protect the paint from the platen because the platen is Teflon coated but we don't want our paint to melt into that. So I just used the parchment paper for extra security. Didn't they turn out beautiful? All right, so since this video is coming out one day after the release, I can definitely tell you this one has been a personal shop favorite. I think a lot of other IOD stockists would agree. This thing has been flying out the door. We are actually almost out. So if you see this video and they're still available, you better get you one because they're gonna be gone soon and they are already out with IOD, so I cannot order more. And I ordered a lot to start with you guys, so thank you so much for all of you that have already made your purchase, and we just appreciate you so much. So I just took a few pieces of this uh, Christmas Valley transfer with that cute little, okay, you guys, forgive my ignorance. Is that a reindeer or is it a moose or a what? What animal is that? <laughs> I think it's a reindeer, but you know, I don't know. If I'm wrong, you can beat me up in the comments. It's totally fine. So I'm just, uh, I gave this thing a light little sand because this little lunchbox that we've been having for a little while was, you know, kind of shiny. So I just wanted to scuff it up and take a little bit of that shine off and just went to town applying my transfer pieces and I love the way it has turned out. Okay, I am so excited to show you this. This is probably off-label use for a paint inlay. Y'all know my rule breaker. So what I did is apply some liquid patina to these cute little sachets, let it dry, apply a second coat, and put my paint inlay in it and sprayed some water on top, and then removed it. And I'm sorry that I lost the footage for me actually removing it, but what I filled the bags with is rice with like six or seven drops of essential oil, so it smells like Christmas. And if you need a little bit more instruction, Julie did an amazing video on paint inlay. So be sure to go watch that if you haven't. And I'll go over it again in my next one. But I, like I said, I don't know what happened to that footage. So I'm so sorry. Okay, continuing on with some sachets. This one is a little bit larger. And I bought these on Amazon. So I will link these little bags below. And here is an example of how we use the masks that come with the stamp. So I do not want to muddy up that cute little stay cozy when I put my plaid on there. So I use the mask, stamp over that with my cute little plaid design, pressing firmly, because again, remember, the fabric is gonna soak that ink up, so you want your stamp to be pretty juicy. So it's gonna pick up your mask, you know, when you, when you bring your stamp up, because that, it's gonna be a little sticky. So just put it back in place, and I'm gonna do my second layer here to show you what this plaid stamp looks like layered, which I think is so beautiful, so, so cute. And this little space at the top was bugging me. It just looked like it was missing something. So I just 
gently tapped on the end there and added that little bit and I think it gave it the perfect finished off look. So let's press this ink in there and make it permanent. Again, covering that with our parchment paper. The handle on this press is so easy to open and close. So there we have it, 15 seconds at 350 degrees and we don't have to worry about that ink coming out. And again, a cute little sachet. This one is about double the size of the first two and it smells so good. All right, I have pre-pressed these little white napkins and again, got these on Amazon, I'll link below. So I pre-pressed those just like I did everything else. And the way that I folded these is so that the little deer is gonna be in the right hand corner next to the seams. So I wanna show you this little trick too. If you're not exactly sure what you want your design to be, always have a little notebook candy and just do a little you know, pre-stamp on your notebook paper to make sure that you love the way it's turning out. So you can see where I was doing several different designs there. Those are gonna be in upcoming videos. So I just wanted to put this cute little deer in the corner and you see how cute that turned out? Well, let's just jump right into the next set of towels then. Okay, so these are a little bit larger, again, on Amazon. And I played around with this, and ooh, ah, that was close about getting my ink on my towel. So I did not, ended up not using the mask on this because I actually liked the way that it looked just layered. I didn't feel like it muddied up the design or anything like that. So I just went with it just directly on top. But remember, pre-stamp on some paper, and if you don't like the way it looks, be sure to use your masks. So I'm just showing you here what this looks like, or I'm sorry, what this sounds like when the timer goes off to let you know it's finished. All right, y'all, I am no tablescape artist by any means, but I do think I'm getting better. So what do you guys think about this? Um, I like this one. Um, I will say that my favorite is the white one with the cute little deer on it though. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the, the design or should I have just gone a little more simple with just the letter or what do you think? This one is perfection. What do y'all think? Please tell me that you love it. Even if you don't, that's okay. Just don't tell me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, the most exciting one, only because it's something you wouldn't think you could heat press. Did you guys know you can heat press plates? Yes. I left this in here because I wanted you to see if you hate the design, all you have to do is wipe it clean and start over. So I cleaned this plate with rubbing alcohol just to take off any shine or you know any oils or grease or anything like that. So I ended up changing my mind and going with a snowflake instead. And I just pressed four little Dollar Tree plates with the little snow, snowflake from the Cozy Stamp and I let the ink dry on its own for like probably an hour or so. And then I'm showing you how easy this thing is to change your plates. All you have to do is take that platen off, put your little plate press in, and it's only two screws, that's it. And once you get that tightened up, also, I want you to know this actually comes with a tool to do this, but in true Riven Ruby fashion, Sabrina and I have already lost it. So I pulled out my drill and check it out. Now we have permanent ink on our plate. So I'm just checking it here to see if it's too hot to lift up. And look what I did, you guys. Oh, I did not even think about it, but the ink from the logo on the bottom of the plate pressed into my stuff here. So I'm putting a piece of parchment paper under the bottom so that we don't continue to do that. And then I just press this one. Again, I press all four plates. And then I take it over to my cute little dining table and do a little vignette for you. So I styled this cute little plate as a bread plate so that way you could still see the cute little design and you can see your cute little reindeer. What do you think? Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in with me today and I hope that you loved these projects. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and let me know what you think of the new Christmas IOD release. So I just want to tell you again, thank you so much for supporting my channel, supporting RuthandRuby.com. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you're subscribed and hit your notification bell to all so that way you don't miss a new video. I wanna thank today's sponsor again, Viver, for sending me the heat press. And I really hope that you guys are inspired to get yourself one. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you had a fantastic time with me today and I will see you in the next one.